It is time for the world to know my name. Welcome to Three Kilobytes Mass Morph with us in Assassin's Creed 3. I'm Kat. And I'm Mike. I'm Jason. You know, I have to go on record and say I've never played any of the other games much more what? than like 10 minutes. So this was a new experience. So for me to review this, I'm not basing it on anything else I've seen from the series. For those of you who don't know, it's a historical action open world concept game. I really enjoyed it. Is it the biggest open world game ever other than Skyrim? Is that yeah, true maybe. or false? Well, yeah, I guess it's big. Bigger than like, Grand Theft Auto, bigger, bigger than Red Dead. Dead. But I'll be honest here, it's big, but there's something wrong with this game. Thank you to G2PO for this fantastic game. Oh, and by the way, we have, to, we have to thank Tony at G2PO. Tony has basically come along, yeah. and he floated down with like a joystick. He's controlling his... Wasn't like, wearing any clothes. Yeah, and that was weird. Strange. But the support from G2PO with Tony and the support of ANC Games... So thank you to ANC Games and G2PO and Tony. <laughs> this is on par with the Assassin's Creed franchise. Totally. I, I think mean, that it's a good deal. 100%. And they, they went for something huge, and I think that they've accomplished it. I would say it's on par. I wouldn't say it's better than the other games, but I'd say if you like the other games, you'll probably like this. It takes place before, during, and after the American Revolution. It does take place over the span of 30 years, and you're leaping like six months later, th three years later. So you I know, and that's kind of weird, because it's like, go to the barn and get some sheep. You go there, and it's like, six months later. <laughs> You're like, what happened? Those what? were some really irritating sheep. Yeah. I fucked the sheep. Oh, made them my babies. In an assassin game, I would assume that hide and seek is very important. Blending into the world, very important. And eye lines is very important. All these things build a good game. Now, in Assassin's Creed, I'm watching Mike play it the other day, and he's got a mission where he's got to blow up some sort of... Tea loose, boxes. Yeah, tea boxes. He puts the bomb down. He doesn't find Earl Grey tea. Yeah, he doesn't even sneak Earl over there. Earl Grey. Red hot. Rose. I jump in the water, splash. He splashes so people should have heard that. Then he swims up, comes up, and somebody's sitting there like fishing on the end of the dock or sitting there. So they should have heard him. Sets a bomb, it explodes, and he walks away and nobody nearby tries to stop him, try to do anything. I won. And he won everything there and I thought... Wait a second, isn't this game supposed to be about- Whoa, 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 you say that, but there were so many other missions where I was so far away from the officers, and they all noticed me, even though I was in disguise. Right, so, so it's unbalanced. So, so my I, point I is it's extremely unbalanced. There it are parts that been. are, yeah, there are parts that are amazing, so, there are parts that are boring. It goes up and down. And and why haven't they fixed it? Well, here's another weird thing, I don't know the answer to that, but another weird thing is it takes, without giving too much away, it takes a while to get to play as the Connor character. You don't get to jump in and play him right away. But that is a storytelling choice. That story could have been this. In a it half could an have hour. been, but yeah. once you play as Connor, you understand right. why you just did five hours of another character. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and I think, I don't think it's it a pays bad off. Five hours no, either. no. Mike and I <laughs> did play the first five hours together, and we both were looking at each other, thinking like, "When does Assassin's Creed Three start?" This is like that. the prologue. The actual main character, I didn't find that able to identify. He was well, kind of a jerk. Well, with Ezio, Ezio, he was like a ladies' man. He was, he was a charming. Funny. He was like, oh, this... la 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 la, I'm Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Take me to the pound, boy. Pound me, boy. But Connor, he's like this angry dude that you can't, he's like really pissed off. He wants vengeance. There's a good reason here, and I think this yeah. is the first Assassin's Creed that our friend Elias Defexes is not in. Yeah, which, so that's why something feels off here. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell the the amount of man hours that are put into this game. It was Try, beautiful. The languages. Is it too ambitious? They focus too much on the storytelling and making it authentic and make sure that building yeah, it looks was like there. New York and, and like Boston yeah. and like all these places go through the streets of Boston. And it's beautiful. And they did such a great job recreating that. But they didn't focus on things yeah. like making, not that it was bad. I like the combat, but it was simple. And they added the boat ship missions, which are awesome. Yeah, those They're are like, cool. And you can actually shoot the cannons from the, your left to your yeah. right, and they you actually steer the ship, which is cool. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. A heart Although, attack? Although, it wasn't so into the homestead stuff. I don't really want to, like, get pigs in their pen. That, that's and... addictive, though, because you you improve the homestead, yeah. and each time you return with new materials or something, you, you see it get better and better. Yeah, but is it necessary in an Assassin's Creed game, no. where your job is to go out and kill people and get vengeance? No, I'm gonna go tend to the fucking sheep. 
Get real. It's just like little side things. People like mm -hmm. to hunt. People. That's what an open world game is No, I understand about. that, but is it necessary in an assassin game where no, your job is to climb it's just to make the and game jump down and kill With people. With that logic, nothing's necessary. If you just yeah, want just true. a game that kills, then yeah. fine. That's so fine. I know but the kills are amazing. What I want. It's an amazing feat to see all of this in a game. I just don't think it all jives together that well. No, it's probably the most glitchiest Assassin's Creed. You can tell they really it pushed it out and pushed it out like a yeah. There was a, a musket. A fetus. Red Dead Redemption. Well, Red Dead Redemption is a perfect example of what this can be, but yeah, it never exactly. reaches that yeah. quality. I'm not saying they stole stuff, but yeah, they added the hunting, and then they have yeah. the side missions that are like paranormal, like you can find a Bigfoot. A UFO. Game also, something that's very different from the other uh, Assassin's Creed games, tons of wilderness parts. In the other yeah. ones, it was all about and I like going that. along the architecture and going along the city. The whole like tree thing is very seamless once you get used to once it. Once you get it's used to it, it can make you look a little dumb every once in a while. Though. It works pretty well. But I, I loved it. 90% of the time. Yeah. It was actually fun. It was like, okay, yeah. this is something I haven't seen in an open world game. I think it's really worth the money because it's so many hours oh, yeah. just for the campaign, oh. let alone all the side missions. Like, you can gamble, you can collect these pages, there's a bunch of things. Rub and tug. The Desmond levels are awesome too. Some people find it annoying, but I didn't. They they they, they complain that you're being pulled out of the Assassin's yeah. Creed story and but Is it Nathan Drake, Desmond's voice? I'm pretty sure it is. Yes. And Q, Q for those who are Next Generation fans, uh, he is the voice hey, of the narrator. <laughs> you like cold elbows? There's some dialogue that's very well written here. There are some new things. There's muskets and rifles. There's also the parkour has been improved for sure. There's mobile hiding places, so you can like move around those hay things, get closer to people, and then hide. And the close combat really is better. They really smoothed that out. You have human shields in this as well. So in multiplayer, they added the, this co-op mode called Wolf Pack, where you and a bunch of friends go up against enemy AI, and you have to assassinate your targets. And also another thing that, that that was really cool that they added, when you kill like six guys, you get like this perk. One is called Mass Morph and that duplicates your character all over the map. Mm -hmm. So people who are just standing there, you'll see them morph into your face, into your guy. And then the person who has you as their target gets really confused. So Michael, what is your overall score? It's a tricky one, because you gotta love all the work and effort that's put into it, but at the same time, sometimes it's like really rough around the edges and tricky dicky. Tricky dicky. I think I give this like an 8.5 out of 10. What do you give it, Jay? I give it a 7. I've never played any of these games. I give it a 7 for the story. It's incredible. The detail's incredible, but it's just unbalanced as shit to me. And I've never played them, so I don't know if that's just something in the series, but if you're but used if, to... Even if it was, that's not it's okay. It's not good. And you can basically kill somebody with somebody else standing next to him, and the, ne the guy next to him just stands there and goes, well, let's get some tea, eh? All of a sudden, there's a, a general miles away who s spots you, and it's like, what? I'm gonna have to agree with Mike and give it an 8.5. I liked it more than you did. Oh. I really, really liked the story. I thought it was gorgeous, and I liked the way that they improved the parkour and mm. the melee combat. I really, really enjoyed that. The badass moves that you do sometimes you like double kill people, tomahawk some people. That's yes. awesome. Yeah, I love that weapon. Yeah. I didn't like that it was kind of up and down, and the main character wasn't my favorite. There were some slowish parts. Oh, I see. And what then you're saying. there were a lot of really great fast parts, yeah. and then there were slower parts where I was like, "Where is a horse? I don't want to run all the way over there." Give me a horse. You like and subscribe to the video, please. What are gonna do next? Who knows? I Altair, like bring Altair back. They're yeah. gonna go into space. Altair. <laughs> can can you, you put him in your shirt? No. Come on, it'll be hilarious. But come on. You can put him in mine. No, put him in. Put him in. No. <gasps> Since you got a vagina.